Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Um, yes, there has been a change to our channel name as of April 1st. No joke. Um, this video is going up after April 1st. Um, so tonight I'm coming on and just showing you some label stickers that I have decided to alter. I decided to do some of these to put in um, some flourish journals and also to use in my own artwork. So a while ago when I was at Officeworks, um, which is our big stationery store here in Australia, they had some of these Avery sticker labels marked down to $5. And I did share them in a haul. And when the lady originally scanned them, they came up with $50 and I nearly fell onto the floor. Seriously, $50 for a packet of labels. They are quite old. They're about four or five years old, but they're still sticky. I'm trying to look for the packets at the moment on my desk. And I don't know what I've done with them. I've cleaned up. Um, so this particular sheet I'm working on at the moment is like a dress label. So they're probably about an inch tall and probably, I don't know, two inches across. So just using the Micador uh, watercolour paints to just put blotches of colour every now and again and not making mud. Still learning with my watercolours. Uh, and I didn't want to add too much water to the watercolours because the stickers are very thin. And I didn't want to sort of overload them. So just trying to add bits of colour. So I did that one all decorative. These ones are actually what they call binder labels. So there's only four big, four or five big labels that go right across the page. So they'd be about 20 centimetres wide and probably about two inches, sorry, 20 centimetres in length and two inches wide. So you might be able to see them on the screen if you've got really good eyesight. If you're like me, you probably couldn't see that. So I decided to do more of an ombre effect on these ones. Um, the bigger stickers, I'm not going to use these stickers this big obviously, I'm going to cut them up and I might punch some shapes out of them like some circles and stuff, I'm not sure yet. Um, so the idea is just tonight, I just felt like doing something but didn't really feel like doing something. You know you all have nights like that where you want to get creative but you just don't know what you want to do and can't be bothered getting a big project out, I couldn't be bothered really getting messy and I just, some nights I feel like I want to do something but not do something, if that makes sense. So I decided to place these label stickers, I hadn't seen there for a while. And I thought if I don't use them up, they will lose, it, lose their stickiness eventually. So I'm going right off the page because there are like a little bit of a border around the sticker that if I colour, I can use the little small strips as well. Um, <coughs> I'm doing a bit of ums tonight. My voice is a bit sore at the moment. I am recovering from tonsillitis, but I do need to get some of these video, videos voice, voice, I can't talk. Videos are voiced overs and scheduled just to make my life a bit easier in the next few weeks. So I'm just putting some splatters on. Don't know whether I entirely liked splatters afterwards, but they're there. So I decided to splatter some more. Who doesn't like splatters? I think the splatters, the problem with the splatters is they're really dark concentrated colour and the sort of were too much of a contrast to the other colours. So swapping between the sheets, um, allows that you don't have to sort of wait for drying time. I've actually broken my hot air, um, heat gun for scrapbooking. It actually burst into flames a couple of weeks ago. Now, I do have a second one in my stash I'm trying to locate. I have to buy the bullet and buy another one because the hair dryer is just not doing it for me. Um, as you know, a heat gun is heat, not air. So just using some of these rubber stamps, um, the video for these rubber stamps would have been up. I spent quite a while and this was when my heat gun went kapoof. It was 10 years old, so yeah, well, it had done its, um, it was just, I bought it even before Alexis was born, so it's certainly done its time. Um, I was heating up my rubber stamps on the blocks and actually removing them from the blocks. So that's a whole new video. So you can sort of see them off to the side there. So I'm just grabbing, I did some feathers and I did some other ones, do some birds and ladybugs, um, just to randomly stamp all over the stickers I believe I'm trying to see it's really hard for me to see the video while I'm editing because it's quite small oh that's a butterfly so the idea is to do it really random because when you peel the stickers off you don't really necessarily need the whole shape on there using a permanent ink pad so in case I do use these in my um, art journals I can then go over them with a Mod Podge and the watercolour may run but the permanent ink white. So coming back and doing this one, so I've done some hexagons on it, I've done some cloudy shapes on it, I'm putting some dots on it, I like the dots, the dots are really cool. So the quick idea behind removing my wooden stamps from the blocks is they're A, they're a lot easier to store and B, I'll use them a lot more because they're quite handy to have, they will eventually go in a binder. You can actually see them on white sheets and they're like white sheets of hard plastic. 
um, so they are quite easy to store and have access to and they've got cling mounts on the back of them so they basically peel off the white sheet like a normal cling stamp and go onto my acrylic block I love the glasses they're really cute and it means you can use a lot of these cheaper wooden stamps would not stamp for me so just showing you the block there so we're nearly finished close up of them sorry that was a really quick close up because I forgot I was going to speed the video up so much so just showing you that you come off there that's it thanks for watching bye